Alright. Okay. You just hold your breath if there's a lot of those. Yeah. So what's up y'all? I'm here with uh, Mr. Peter Draws. Actually, what's your last name, Peter? Delig Dish. Delig Dish. Goes by Peter Draws, amazing artist. We're out here working on the first collaboration, the Banjo Earth North Carolina album. So, um, Peter. Yes. What's going on? Not too much. <laughs> Taking it easy. So you're uh, an amazing visual artist. You draw, you're a painter. Um, just kind of like, when did you start getting into, when did you start realizing that this is something you enjoyed doing that you were actually pretty good at it. I guess I started with my current style of art sometime in high school about 10 years ago and then uh, it was very it's very casual thing at first but it, I guess it just kind of took off and snowballed into whatever it is right now. I never had any grand plans for it turning out this way or anything. Yeah. I'm happy it did. And, uh, you just I'm kept doing it, time, yeah. kept getting better yeah. and people were enjoying it and so you just kept rolling with it. Right. That's cool. So what would you, um, I know it's hard to like put a box around a type of art, but how would you characterize the type of drawing you do? Like what, what kind of style you, you work with? Right, right. Uh, I am pretty bad at like categorizing things and putting things in genres, but just to give people an idea, uh, I guess it's like abstract pen and ink sort of stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of it doesn't really look like anything. Or it could look like anything, so mm -hmm. it's very open-ended, yeah. Yeah. Very detailed stuff, yeah. So main, mainly working with uh, pen, ink, and paper, generally. Right. exactly. Cool. Um, so when you when you go into a work, you, you, you work basically every day drawing and doing different stuff. Um, what idea do you go into approaching the pen and the ink, with, thinking about your art? Like, how do you... Um, how are you coming in? How are you approaching it? Uh, I usually have something bouncing around in my head a little bit. People always ask if I plan it out before I start. I don't plan it out. I've got some idea that might start me off. But really, my end goal is to just maybe make something that's interesting to look at. It doesn't need to be beautiful. It doesn't need to be ugly. It could be either one of those. But as long as it is interesting. I just want it to be interesting. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And for you... Right. First, and then mm -hmm. for people enjoying it, right? Right. They can they can take it or leave it. I enjoy it when they like it, but yeah, it's not a requirement for other people to like it. I mostly, I'm thankful that even if I don't like it, uh, I enjoy the process. Even if I get to the end of a drawing, I'm like, I don't like this. I almost always had a good time drawing it, even yeah. if I don't like the end. Of and then you learn some things, right? Even always, when it yeah. doesn't go right. Always storing away a little bit of something for the next drawing. Have you found the drawings you didn't like? even though you released them anyway and they got like a really good reception you were just kind of didn't know what people were gonna enjoy or not oh yeah yeah you can't you can't do your drawings with all these other people in mind because there's so many of them right and if you sometimes the ones you barely work on you don't have any kind of invested pride or joy in some of the those are the ones that blow up the most and resonate with the most people uh, but the ones that are most personal to you and you put the most work into maybe that's why other people don't enjoy them as much because it's all about you yeah I don't, know. I don't know it's difficult and weird you just gotta do it for yourself put it out there in the public and let them do with it what they will I don't so know. do you sometimes hold your drawings back and don't release them if you don't like them or do you just put everything out and let you know the chips fall where they may you usually if i finish a drawing i almost always show it to the world but yeah it's only the unfinished ones I throw away. Yeah. There are not too many of those somehow, though. I, I finish almost everything. Probably 99% of the drawings I start, I finish. Awesome. 90, 98%. 98%. <laughs> well, that's a good good habit to be in, is to finish the work you start, I think. Um, so we're here in North Carolina. This is the Banjo of North Carolina. Peter's from North Carolina originally, right? Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah, I spent most of my life here. Um, you've been to Charlotte, you've lived in Wilmington, now you're living in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. What, What is your favorite thing about North Carolina? What do you love most about this state? I think uh, the weather is great. I, I was just complaining about how it was too cold here, but 
the great thing about it is it's going to be really warm soon. And as soon as I start getting sick of the, how hot it is, it'll be cold again. So I think the balance of how the seasons change here yeah, is just we, wonderful. We have seasons here. That's yeah. good. Um, what about the culture? What's your, what do uh, what you love most about North Carolina culture? I think North Carolina is pretty cool because it, I think the culture is very chill. People seem friendly here. Not, not you know, like too far deep south. It depends which city you're, you know, if you're in a city or out in the countryside, things uh -huh. can really differ. But I think it's cool. You've got the, the coastal area. You know, you can get a nice beach town feel if you want. Come in here to Piedmont. There's a weird mix of like city slickers and more backwoods folk. And then you can head up to the mountains, you know. And you've got your, got people probably still brew moonshine in the woods and then there's also like weird you know college kids going skiing and stuff it's like we've got a whole mix <laughs> got like the whole it. thing happening here yeah. cool so um so you have a you got a really successful youtube channel got a lot of people on there enjoying your work paying attention to what you're doing um you know there's a lot of a lot of artists and musicians and all, all kinds of people growing their social channels now what advice would you give to someone you know trying to grow their youtube channel or just connect with more fans out there and, and you know get their work out there what advice would you have someone like that uh i mean there there's already a lot of advice out there i mean there's probably whole lists of things you know if you google you know how to have a successful youtube channel there's all sort of you know like upload consistently you know keep your quality up and then you know this is probably all you know it's obvious right mm -hmm. if you want people to watch your videos you got to have them there and They've got to be good videos, but who knows what that is, right? There's some of the most viewed videos in the world are the, the crappiest ones that, that looks like barely any effort went into them, right? Charlie yeah. bit my finger, anyone? Uh. Nobody worked hard to make that video. So it's hard to tell how to be successful, right? But I think one thing that people can tell when you're out, if you're like, if you're a creator, right? If you're out there, and you're making things. I think people can tell when you're enthusiastic when you care when you have a little bit of passion that goes into it it seeps out through the video and i think that's a good way to connect with an audience who is also enthusiastic about i mean they don't even really have like if it's banjo stuff i bet there's people who can enjoy you know banjo videos who don't have never touched a banjo maybe before i've never heard banjo music i know with my drawing stuff people they say i, I don't even draw i just like to look you know hang out with peter watch his videos so you don't even just a little bit of passion and enthusiasm yeah it seeps out it shows just loving what you're doing and putting it into your work right and that'll get you through i think a lot of low times and discouraging times and you think like all your work isn't paying off like mm -hmm. maybe that's the difference between following a dream and following what you think i don't know should be some payday i don't know it's very difficult to figure out why you're in it and... yeah well it seems a lot of people today are uh sort of wearing a costume like uh i don't know trying to grow on instagram by mm -hmm. renting a corvette and like posing in front of the beach or something yeah. you know and what i like about your stuff and your videos is it's just so um laid back and real and it's just you kind of kicking it you know and speaking from your heart and like so i think uh that may be something to do with it uh, thank you yeah, yeah. Well, i think i'm too lazy to rent a corvette even if it would pay off big time yeah i think i just don't have it in me to, there's like a lot of extra work i could be doing i feel like to make my youtube channel even more successful but i don't know if i want it bad enough yeah it's weird when did you realize first realize you were like really on to something you know was there, was there a, like a something that really hit or when did you know that you were you know well, striking a nerve i I mean, you kind of, there's a few points sometimes, Reddit, I mean, YouTube is very unpredictable, and uh, it, sometimes it, one of your videos will just blow up out of nowhere, you don't, you won't even know why it's getting any views. Sometimes you do know why, like for one example, first time one of my videos even did well is because I posted it elsewhere on the internet and shared it with people. Mm. So you kind of got to do some of the heavy lifting and self-promotion yeah. yourself sometimes. And uh, at one point I was moving, I had to get another job. And I thought, wait a second, the YouTube channel is actually doing okay. Because it had just been like a, a hobby that I did in my free time before that. So I thought, maybe I won't get another job. Let me try doing this full time, right? Mm -hmm. and if it works out, then I won't get another job. And it did work out. Cool. But a lot of people seem to have this dream sometimes these days that they can just, you know, like they deserve to be a YouTube creator or something. And mm -hmm. they're just going to go quit their job. And then they're upset that it doesn't work out because they 
out all their tips on YouTube. Or, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know what to tell them. It's just like doing your free time if you like it and enjoy it. I don't know. It's just uh, like, it's just one tool in the whole tool belt of creation. Right, there's so many creation. things, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, you guys check them out. Peter Draws on uh, YouTube. Peter, P-E-T-E-R-D-R-A-W-S. Peter Draws. Check him out on Instagram. He's creating some really cool artwork. Love his videos. And um, it's a pleasure to have him on Banjo Earth, North Carolina. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. (laughs) Hell yeah. It's awesome. Cool, man.